Hello, thanks for joining me today. My name is Annalisa Hunter and I'm the pastor here at Bridges Church in downtown La Crosse. Today, I'd like to do a quick take on John chapter three, verse 16, perhaps the most well-known verse of the New Testament of the Gospels. Let me quick read it for you, uh, just so we have it fresh in our minds. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him won't perish, but will have eternal life. Now, this is a Bible verse that's often on bumper stickers. Uh, sometimes people make a touchdown in a football game and yell out John 316. It's really well known. And some people say this is the whole gospel in one verse, which is great. However, I've also known a lot of people who've really focused in on this verse and have really stood on the part that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. And it becomes kind of judgmental and intolerant. So anyone who doesn't believe in Jesus the way I believe in Jesus, well, you're out of luck. And as I was reading this passage today, I realized that the verse that comes after it, John 3, 17, I think is really important as well and tells us a lot about who God is, who Jesus is, how they operate in the world, and how they want us to operate. So J John 3.17 says, God didn't send his son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Now, it seems like there are a lot of people who use Christianity to judge people. I just saw some statistics from a national poll done by the Barna Group, and people who aren't part of the church think that Christians are really judgy, that this is a huge problem that they have, a huge barrier they have to being part of the Christian church because they see the people in the church as being judgy. Now, that being said, I know a lot of people outside the church who actually think Jesus is really cool. They really like Jesus' teaching. They like his way of life. They want to follow Jesus, and to a certain extent, they do believe in Jesus, but that extra extent about believing in Jesus and being part of a church they have some problems with because the way that they see Christians living their lives doesn't often seem to match up to what Jesus said. And so John 3, 17, that puts the emphasis that Jesus came to save, not to judge, I think is really important for us to hold on to. Especially in our current culture right now, there's a whole lot of judginess going on in every single direction. It can be political, it can be personal, it can be religious. There's just a lot of judginess all over the place. And I wonder what life would look like if we did less judging, more listening, more trying to understand where people are coming from, and more trying to let God take care of the judgment stuff. And we just do the living our life in love with our neighbor stuff and see what happens from there. So. That's my thought for today on John 3.16 and John 3.17. And let me know what you think. Um, you can respond in the comments below. You can email me at pastor at bridgesdowntown.com. And uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates anytime I post a new quick take or another video for our church. And uh, join us on Sunday mornings at 9.30. And let's keep the conversation going and see what it is that we feel God is calling us into as a new community of belief. Thanks so much for coming.